Howdy, folks. Shabby is back. And he's back to walk around Ash Canyon for a bit. Go the gold mine. That's some things that I'm thinking about doing today. Some things on Shabby's brain. Right now we're in the Frontiers... Sorry, Frontiers. The, uh... Foreman's Retreat. Foreman's Retreat, that's what it's called. Otherwise known as the Bear Den. Just kidding. No one's no one calls that. No one call no one says that. Alright, we got some goodies here. Okay, got our horse. skillet finally. Let's see a lot, because I love horses. Now is this a is that the recipe that's in here? I might have to break down this chair to find out. Let's look around first before we uh Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get get a fire. Let's get a fire going. Start building up some water. Got two pots now. And I got cooking I got cooking three, so no more tinder. Things are really looking up for Shabby. So today I'm going to try to get over to what's, it's called Homesteader's Respite. I'm going to try to get all the way over there. That's a good one. There's a decent amount of food, clothing over there, but I think we already have two combat pants. Yeah, so we really, and we have, we pretty much have all the best clothes except for making some bear coats. So there's really not nothing clothing wise we're going to find that's going to be exciting. Oh, we only have two sticks. That's not exciting. Where'd I use all my sticks? I guess we'll just throw, let's throw a coal on there. It's, it's okay. It's gonna be fine. Alright, we'll make some water first and then we'll start thinking about if we're gonna make any... any kind of recipe of some sort. Let's, um... Let's see if we can find that special recipe, though. Again, I don't think that's it. I think I would be able to reach it. I don't think it looks like that. I think it looks a little different. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ranger stew. Sweet. A thick and greasy stew filled to the brim with harvested meat meats. Fuel for the long day in the woods. Alright. Let's see what uh, see what kind of ingredients we need for that. Uh, Ranger stew. We have we have cooking four, so we can do this. Um we just need broth. We don't have any carrots out here. We could probably get yeah, we could get these other ingredients. Broth, carrot. I'm actually curious about something now. Stalker's pie. Half kilo wolf meat. Oh man, if we were cooking five, we could get that. We could take the black bear out. And we have that piece of wolf meat that's nearby. But, I don't have cooking five. So, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Not very helpful, Shabby. Not very helpful. Okay, we'll resupply on our cloth while we're here, too. I think may maybe I will to maybe I will hunt that bear. I don't know. I mean, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? I think what I could do to get cooking five is I could cook up this bear and then you know several days from now when we finally get back to Mystery Lake I can cook up the rest of the bear uh, in those two spots where, where we shot the bear the all that uncooked meat is just laying around we could cook all that up and then maybe we could hit cooking five but I don't know. I don't know. Um, I 
I don't know if I want to babysit this or not. I think we can get another, pull another torch off this. Okay. Um, let's get some, uh, let me check my cloth real quick. We're, uh, we have five, okay. Drop that. We'll forget these, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll just end up staying here. <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens. Maybe in the morning we'll make some pancakes or something. Got our skillet now, so we can make pancakes or something. We still haven't made this, so we could do that just just to say that we did it. We can make rose hip pie. This will be good. We're gonna be doing some climbing pretty soon, so that's good. Made peach pie already. Knock that one off. Okay. Oh man, if we just had some maple syrup, make Lily's pancakes. Okay. All right. This is good. These are good things. I think we have some crappy dog food to eat. Let's look at that. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll get we'll get food poison. We'll be okay. I just want to die. <laughs> oh no. This gives me so much stress. No, I don't like hearing. Let's go ahead and eat these two. Alright. Alright, that's all the crappy food, I think. So let's go ahead and drink one of these teas. See, this is why you have, like, that's why you hang on to these. They weigh nothing, they give you a full warming bonus. And they also are still still have their medication uh, functions. So it is a lot, though. It's this is too many because it's just hard to manage. Uh, but still, nice to have. Nice to have. I recommend it. I want to check on this real quick. 31 minutes. Alright, we can get another torch off. There we go. Okay, let's get some sleep. We'll sleep off this food poisoning. Take a little sip. Okay, now what do we want to do? Do we want to make something? I think maybe we should make a uh, make some breakfast, and then we'll. Uh, the potatoes aren't going to do us any good right now, so let's just drop those. Drop our taters. have to do some little bit of weight management here maybe we can make let's make some rose hip pies and um, let's make some rose hip pie and then we'll um, I'll probably lit that too soon actually I probably should have went and ah, screwed up kind of screwed up I don't I just the fuel I need more fuel, and I should have should have got more fuel before I started this fire. fire. Kind of screwed that up. 
Perfect. Okay, let's get our skillet. Let's see if we can make some rose hip pie. Somewhere. Rose hip pie. Here we go. All right. Now it takes. It takes an hour to make. What's the prep time? I wonder. All right. I don't know. I don't know what the prep time is. Like twenty minutes. I think it's like a twenty minute prep time. It was probably somewhere on there. I just didn't see it. All we have are sticks and coal. Let's see if there's something. Yeah, let's just see if there's something we can cook. I get confused by this because it's like you're making, like it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it has the ingredients. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, never mind. Alright, I'm just being dumb, that's all. And we need broth. We need freaking broth. Can I make fire hardened arrows here? Um, I don't have any sticks. <laughs> uh, everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. I know you can do this with your hands, but it's okay. You're not going to run out of whetstones. I promise. I promise. 14 minutes. Alright. Oh boy, oh boy. Rose hip pie, baby. The headache inducing rose rose hip pies. Elegant rose hip pie. Thick crusted pie overflowing with rose hips. Alright. I think we should go ahead and just make this. Because uh I wanna be I wanna make all the I wanna make all the recipes, so let's just do it. Even if it doesn't really make sense to Let's get our taters up on the table. Don't throw your taters in the floor, folks. Come on. Making a little breakfast. It still sounds windy out there, so I don't think it's uh I don't think we're missing out on any opportunities here. We'll make this. Might as well. That looks lovely. Got our bannock. Sorry, I wanted to look at it first. A crusty flatbed cooked with acorns. Okay. Now let's make your let's make the classic. The civilized version of it. Let's just keep it warm. I'm gonna be gone here in a sec. I'm not I'm not gonna linger. Okay. 
Um, 44 minutes on that. Um, let's see, let's just make some... We can make some teas. I would make, drink almost anything about now. Let's make a coffee, because I think we're going to need some coffee in our near future. Anything else can, we can make? Alright, we've done these. We've made all these before. I'm not going to make peach pie again. Because um, I want to save the peaches for Lily's pancakes. Maybe we'll find some syrup. Who knows? Unfortunately, the... Um, the... Uh, Peaches are really heavy, so I'm not gonna. Hopefully, I'll. Hopefully, we'll be able to find them. Find, uh, sorry, find syrup. I'm gonna drop all this. We're not gonna do any more cooking. Until we return. Get all this up here. Where's the front? I wanna be able to see the front. Sounds like something's burning. We good? Okay, now we got some food. Let's get a couple torches. Ah, it's all right. We're fine. I do need to figure out the, uh, I need to drop some weight. Way too heavy. Don't need all this coal right now. We'll... Oh yeah, and I can get rid of this tinder as well. Let's just throw it over here by the fireplace. It doesn't weigh that much, but don't need it. Okay. All right, we are unencumbered now. Um, don't have much water. Don't need that. We'll tear those up in a bit. Okay. Oh man, we have a kilo. We have almost two kilos of rose hips on us right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop them. I, it's gonna suck, but picking these up. But it's it's okay. That's a lot of that's a lot of rose hips. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. All right, let's go. Okay, now, uh, homesteaders respite. Uh oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Change of plans. At least I hit him. Ugh. All right, let's do something for five minutes. Because if you pass time, he won't move. So you want to do something for a few minutes to get him to move. So that's five minutes. That's about as quick as a thing you can do. All right. Hopefully he's not right here. He's close. There he is. Alright, let's get him. I shot him in the face. Okay, there he goes. He's right here. Sounds like. There he goes. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Homesteaders. We'll let the bear bleed out. There's not a whole lot of places the bear can go.
Wait, where's my cave? Right here? Oh, here we go. Alright, well that, uh, see, you never... It's hard to make plans sometimes in this game. <laughs> uh, I'm actually just, we're gonna do this today. We gotta do this. We'll, we'll take care of the bear on the way back. Can I go around? I think I can. I cannot. This is one of the most pointless caves in the game, I think. But, if you had, uh, look, you stopped panicking. Hmm. Yeah, the cave, I guess for cabin fever purposes, it's good. But, it's just... It's just right in, it's just right in the middle of this, you know, spot with two shelters and a, there's a fire barrel in the, in a workbench and... <laughs> I mean, this really has everything. All your needs are met right up here. It's not a lot of food. Just the bear. You probably could hang out up here for a long time, I bet. Now to think about it, if you had cooking five, you could just, you could just, um, survive off the bear for a while. Get these on the way back. We don't want to pick up extra weight. We have to. We have to come back this exact same way. So just sort of refrain from picking things up. I mean, we're gonna forget those somewhere anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I always get stuff in Ash Game and just leave it. I just leave it somewhere. Cannot, because I have to go to the summit after this, and it's you have to drop. I mean, that's actually not forgetting. What it really happens is I forget stuff. But even if I do remember, I'm still gonna have to drop a bunch of stuff before we climb up to the summit, anyway. So I doubt if the uh, birch bar the birch saplings will make it. Look at these tiny. Look, look how tiny and cute they are. So cute. Look at him. Oh, precious. Now, remember, I just said I wasn't going to pick anything up. <laughs> All right, is there any coal in here? I'm just curious. Doesn't look like it. We do have a deer carcass out here, though. That's good. Probably snag that on the way back. You can make venison pie, I think. Probably should get a rabbit, too, on the way back. We can make... We can make venison pie, rabbit pie. Oh, I'm not supposed to. Don't pick things up, Shabby. Stop it. What are you doing? If we find ptarmigans, we can make ptarmigan pie. I'm gonna listen out for him right now. This seems like the type of place you would find ptarmigans. Maybe high meadow? Maybe we could shoot over to high meadow and see if there's any ptarmigans. There's a br uh, there's a rope bridge straight up that way. 
and there's sort of like this spire of rock, I guess you could describe it as. And I would, I would bet, my gut is telling me there's some ptarmigans over there. There's some birch back there. It's another little hiding spot for birch. gonna need to get we're gonna need to get a quite a bit of fuel for this bear because I plan on cooking I plan on cooking that bear the whole thing so there's plenty there's lots of wood down in the whatever it's called the other part of the foreman's it's whatever the folly something folly Folly something. I don't know. Well, something's... What is it? Miner's Folly? Is that it? Anyways, that area has lots of wood that we can get, and then we'll be, we'll be okay as far as cooking that bear up. I wonder how much that rose hip pie is going to give us. I want to eat it at the right moment. We have three of them, so I could probably... I don't know. We'll see. Because I'd like to just... Usually what I do is I come down here and I sleep for a while. And then I climb back up. But if we have some, you know, magic... You know, magic food... Magic pie. Magic pie to help us climb immediately. That would be nice. I'm trying to do this. I am going to deploy the rope for future Shabby. I might just do it right now because the weather's nice. Look at this. Combat pants. We got combat pants and the thin wool. I haven't got this combo in so long and I don't need them. That's why I got them, because I don't need them. That's, that's pretty much TLD in a nutshell right there. Let me see what kind of condition these are in. 36%. 97. Let's, let's trade those out. There we go. Yeah, you get a little bit of food in here. We'll take this because we're gonna um, deploy it right now. Ruined. Okay, everything's we're getting to that point where things start to just everything's falling apart. Peaches. I'm not sure I can carry Nothing. much more. Some wheat, some wood. Almost said weed for some reason. That's not weed, shabby. Don't get excited. <laughs> Alright, I think we've stripped it clean, more or less. Got a lot of food. There's a decent amount of food in here. And, you know, if you come here early game and you get combat pants and a thin wool sweater on Interloper, that is really amazing stuff. Don't necessarily need to deploy this rope because you can always go up here anyways. But let's just do it. 
for the option. Maybe the travois at some point will, like, you'll need to have the rope. You won't be able to go with the travois or something. I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can hoist it up if you have a, if you have a rope, but you can't if you're goading. Something like that. I don't know. You never know. You never know. It probably won't matter, but let's pretend like it does. All right, I'm gonna eat these. I'm gonna eat this pie and see what it does. I have no idea what it's gonna do. Rose hip pie. Here we go. It's gonna reduce, or it's gonna increase our fatigue, or increase our energy. It's weird. It's you kind of say it backwards a little bit. Let's see. Got a headache now. Where are we at? Okay. Okay. Let's eat another one and see what happens. Can you do that? We'll give you a massive headache. <laughs> Look, we lost our sprain wrist. So, something's working. Massive headache, though. Massive. Debilitating. Was this sugar overload or something? Is that what's going on here? I'm going to drink a coffee anyways, just to make double sure. We are plenty, we are f totally fine on this. No crampons. It was so funny because I played this game for a very long time and did not know that there were ledges on these ropes. Just totally missed that somehow. And then I saw someone doing it once. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. I uh, can't pick up anything. We're gonna have to eat another pie. Let's eat another rose hip pie. Excruciating migraine. I wonder if I can pick up that wood or not. Eh, no, probably not. Are we are we rested? Not yet. We're not quite there. Stamina coming back. Okay, now we're full stamina. And let's go on up. Wow, we actually used the food to our advantage. So, so far, paying off some dividends there. Rose hit pie to the rescue. Now we can pick up sticks. Oh boy. See, that was a little quick trip down there. It probably, you know, we got a little bit of food. So, and some matches. Now, I still don't have uh, fire hardened arrows, <laughs> so um, dang, I would like to take out more than one ptarmigan. Would be nice. I think maybe you can just do it with the maybe your maybe just a regular arrow won't scare them either. I, I guess we'll find out. I do know. I'm pretty sure that the fire hardened arrows won't won't scare off. Harmigans if you start shooting with them But I'm not uh, I guess we'll find out if it's also true for regular arrows Let's see 31% on my bow We just need this bow to last until we get to back to preppers cash then I have the uh, I'll have the uh, resources there to make a new bow.
I'm gonna check for the Polaroid. This is one of the Polaroid spots right here. Here it is. We got it. Ash Canyon has the best, uh, Ash Canyon has the best Polaroid locations. Because there's two Polaroids, and there's many, many, many places where it can be hidden, where, where they spawn, and, uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. <laughs> Alright, this is a little bit of a detour, but the weather's nice, so why not? Um, going for ptarmigans. I bet I'll, I bet we would run into ptarmigans eventually on our way over to the gold mine, but let's just let's just give this a shot because I, I feel like High Meadow would just be the ideal place for ptarmigans. So it's like this spire of rock right here in front of us there are there's a there's a um it's called runaway bridge it's on the other side of this and it pretty much goes nowhere it goes to another rope climb that goes down to um close to climbers cave and there's also another rope climb from high meadow that also goes to climbers cave so um it's a little bit of a dead end kind of place. There is a spot where the um, one of the rifle variants will spawn here. So usually I come here when I'm playing on Stalker. I always make a point to come here. Okay, the music is not helping me listen for ptarmigans. Yeah, maybe not. Here's the uh, Vista location, right up here. And I think it's for the one I just picked up. Pretty sure. No, it's not. I picked up the other one, I guess. But here's the Vista location, and then... Right down here, below it, is where one of the rifle variants will spawn. The curator's rifle has a chance to. It doesn't. There's like five. There's four or five places where it could spawn in uh, Ash Canyon. On my first Gunloper run, I think after the DLC first came out, the um, Curator's Rifle was glitched and wouldn't spawn. So I looked all over Ash Canyon twice and then found out that it just didn't spawn. So I didn't, Shabby didn't get the memo on that. I'm going to go around this way. Usually there's some rabbits, but I'll also I'm, I'm, I'm looking for ptarmigans. We need to get those ptarmigans. Hearing crows, that's it. These flyover, yeah, flyover crows. Wait a minute, I thought you could go up this way. You can't? I guess, I guess not. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I thought, I remember there being rabbits around here, but I guess not.
We need sticks. Lots of sticks. Lots of sticks. We're going to be hopefully cooking up a bear here in a bit. So, we'll just start loading up on fuel. This is just fun. Whenever you can pick up sticks to your heart's content, that's just a good time. That's just a good time right there. Okay, we can put this away. We don't need it. Hopefully that bear has bled out by now. I would imagine so. Get all of this. Okay. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Let's see. Okay. Just looking at the time. Kind of bummed we don't have the we don't have a rabbit either. No ptarmigan, no rabbit. That's that's too bad. Guess we could eat our bread. Yay! 300 calories. Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to do something immersive breaking, but I just, I'm curious. Bears killed. Three. Okay, we have a dead bear somewhere nearby. So what I like to do is I like to get all of my fuel needs situated before I tackle a bear. Because it really is uh, stressful to start cooking and then also try to get, you know, fuel to, to cook at the same time. It's just, it's just too stressful. So I like to just, I like to get everything set up completely harvest the deer or sorry completely harvest the the bear get all my fuel situated and then to start cooking because uh it's just way more chill way more chill shabby's all about the chill not really but i mean i do i enjoy i enjoy good chill don't get me wrong Okay, there should be crows. 
in this kind of weather. Getting a bit thirsty. Could be still some crows, so we'll use the crows to locate the bear. Need to do it now because the sun is going down and uh, we're going to lose that advantage. I'm going to drop some weight. Uh, tools, tools, here we go. I'm going to hang on to my bedroll. I don't, I'm scares me to drop my bedroll. Okay, I think I hear them anyways. They're over here. Okay. It's kind of a typical spot. For the bear to die. So he didn't die on some weird ledge somewhere. There he is. Oh, I forgot to get the feathers off of that deer. Oh well. Look at our arrows just hovering in the air. Okay. I always prefer just to cook right next to the animal if, uh, you know, if it's safe. So I think what we should do is go ahead and get set up for fuel and then come on over here and then we'll start, we'll start cooking it and, uh, and harvesting and cooking. But we'll do that on the next time. I'm going to loot up these two buildings real quick. And then we'll call it for this session. And then when we start next time, it'll be a it'll be a bear cooking jamboree, as they say, old school bear cooking jamboree. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Okay. Looking and we're looking for stuff. Is this where the stem is now? No stem. Whoa. Okay. That's different. That is different. Maybe there's one in maybe it spawns in the one of these buildings now? I hope. I mean there's so much reclaimed here we could get. It's just laying around too. But yeah, we can grab a bunch of this reclaimed and have plenty of fuel to cook up a big furry bear. Okay. All right. Well, let's grab this uh, memento note thing and the key. There's some fish down at the angler's den if we want it. Oh, here's our maple syrup. We got Lily's pancakes coming our way, folks. Oh boy. Lily's pancakes in the works. Some jeans. All right, I'm gonna save it real quick and then we'll come back and cook up a bear and make some Lily's pancakes. Oh boy, oh boy. More cooking in our future. All right, folks. Everyone take a shabby. We'll see you next time.